clear post. Yes! No! Are you Kupo? Yes! Zarek! Yes! guys swans away days gear back again and today is a one-off video obviously it's one day to go until 2020 it's absolutely mad how quick it's flown by obviously 17 now and um the decade's nearly gone um for this video i'm going to do this goals in this decade for the swans anyway um there's going to be a lot of it's my opinion, so leave me your thoughts down below. I've gone for 10. It was really hard to go for 10. I've gone for the 10, which I've kind of seen live by myself and not like the ones in the past. There's been some honourable mentions as well. I'm going to try to include some clips, but obviously I might not be able to include all clips because there's a goal in here, which is the Europa League, and obviously I get copyright. So I'll leave the link down below for the goals if I can't get it in. But let's get into it. Michu, one on one. Can he make it two? He does! So in 10th place now... I've gone for the occasion. The goal the goal was pretty good as well, but um the occasion. I've gone for Michu's second goal against Arsenal, um where Nathan Dyer was closing down Carl Jenkinson, slid him and Michu had the freedom of the Emirates to make it 2 0 and get Swansea City's first ever victory at the Emirates and he does so. A sublime finish into the bottom right hand corner and the scenes was incredible that day. Um such a good goal. And uh, that's why I believe that should be in death. So it's there. Swansea's definitely top 10 for the occasion and the goal itself. So in 10th place, I've gone for Mikel Michu's goal against Arsenal. Chopra slides it up to Emnes on the edge of the D. Emnes back heels the ball. Shoots left for it. He scored! Marvin Emnes has... 9th place again, I've gone for the occasion. And this was actually the start of the decade. Now, um, it was against Cardiff City at the Cardiff City Stadium, um, obviously... We had an on loan player from Middlesbrough, Marvin Emnes, if anyone remembers him, remembers him. He took on a couple of men, dragged back, and a sublime finish into the bottom corner to beat David Marshall. And that, the, that made the Swansea City away and erupt. Hopefully, someone similar can do that in a few weeks' time when we visit there. But that was such a good goal. And the again, the occasion. So I definitely deserved to be in the top 10 for me. James has got the pace. Oh, he's going wrong. place now I've gone for last season Daniel James against Brentford now Daniel James he was on fire this day the pace basically Brentford had a free kick cleared and then Dan James from the edge of our box just sprinted beat a few men with his pace and an excellent finish in the bottom left hand corner now this is kind of what got his interest in and his move to Manchester United this goal went worldwide it was a very, it went worldwide like I've said um, had so many views in the UT, and it was just a great goal. So Daniel James fairly deserves to be in this top ten. In seventh place, now I've gone for number seven, like I, like I did before. Leon Britton against Nottingham Forest in the playoffs. What an occasion for this man! He did not score many, but God, when he did score, he was a great goal and this showed it a lovely turn inside and belt as it passed Lee Camp it was a superb finish and that was made us get to the playoff final beat Red and Leon Britton top 10 worthy <laughs> Sixth place, and I've gone for Fabio Barini's free kick against Norwich. An excellent finish. This was fight Fabio Barini. Obviously, we all know now that we can't score a free kick, and God, could Fabio Barini score a free kick? A wonder strike into the top corner. Superb finish against a great, good Norwich side at the time, um, and against a good goalkeeper as well. So it was an excellent finish, and one of my favourite goals when I look back on nowadays. <laughs> John Joe Shelby! What a goal! John Joe Shelby from 45 yards for Swansea! Fifth place I've gone for John Joe. John Joe, John Joe. John Joe, John Joe. John Joe, John Joe Shelby. Obviously, he didn't really end in good terms, but we all know he was a good player. His halfway line against goal against Aston Villa. An excellent goal by John Joe Shelby, the Brad Guzman. Ticks on the chest and whacks it on from the boat. 55 yards out, I don't know, something crazy like that, and he went top corner as well, no chance for Guzman, and Guzman, and it was an excellent finish, and we all will remember that goal for the rest of our lives, should be higher, but I think fifth place, with the other goals, I think, he had to go fifth. 
Fourth place then, John of Under Guzman against Valencia. Um, what a free kick is the free kick this was by Jonathan de Guzman. He was a good thirty five yards out, an absolute incredible free kick by Jonathan. Oh my word! I was watching our live and I was screaming like a little girl. Incredible goal, and uh, I can't. I just miss those days of Europa League football, like some Michu, Borny, Rangel in their prime. Oh, it was incredible! Incredible team and an incredible goal. Missed completely. Forest goal is unguarded. Prattley. Can he score? Darren Prattley. Swansea City are going to... Good place then. I've gone for Darren Prattley against Nottingham Forest. His halfway line goal to send Swansea City to the playoff final where they eventually beat Redden 4-2. Oh, great goal this was by Prattley. Took a couple of touches and whacked it home inside his own half. And to beat Lee Camp, oh my word, I wish I was at that, that, that game, but I was watching on the telly, and again, I was screaming like a little girl, such a good goal, and to have the composure, the power, just to seal it over the line, got to be in my top three. Second spot goes to Gilfie Sigerson, a wonder goal against Arsenal, um, which we won that game 2-1, but without this goal, I don't think we would have got anything out of the game. A sublime finish to beat a tall Wojciech Szczesny at the time, a very good finish, great goal, free kick, great free kick goal, and I wish we could have a free kick taker with the technique of Gilfie Sigerson. My word, what a goal that was. Selena, that's a good ball. Here's Daniel James. Routledge is in the middle. Selena's there. Here's Dyer. Here's Selena. Brilliant 2 0. Oh, what a goal! And my number one, the, my favourite Swan City goal of this decade, goes to Burson Selena against Manchester City. My word, what a goal this was. We out Man City, Man City on this day. We should have won, but no VAR. But let's just remember the good times. Side from Notfield at the back, and we absolutely obliterated Man City on this goal. Guardiola couldn't believe it. It was on BT, loads of people giving us plaudits, and well deserved. So, my number one goal of the decade goes to Burst and Selena. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. There should be a new series coming out in January if you like transfer windows and stuff like that. But hopefully, you leave a like on this video. I really appreciated it. Um, that's my top 10 goals this decade. Leave me your leave, leave down below your on your comment section your favorite goal of the decade. And like I said, for me, it was Selena against your opposition and to beat Edison as well. It was a great finish. But that's just my opinion. So let me know your opinions down below. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time. Have a good New Year's, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Nearly on 1,700. So if we can hit that by tonight, it'd be amazing. Thank you all for your support. And 2020, Swans away days. You better watch out. See you next time, guys.